Hey guys, Brad Scott here with bradscottvisuals.com and today I wanted to show you guys how to film a time lapse of clouds moving overhead. Um, I'm using my Canon 6D and I'm using Magic Lantern. If you don't have Magic Lantern installed on one of your cameras, um, it works on pretty much all the new Canon DSLRs. Just go to their site, I'll put a link below and you guys can uh, check out how to install Magic Lantern. But basically, Magic Lantern lets you do time lapses without, um, without an intervalometer cable or any of that stuff. So we're gonna go into um, basically all my settings I've got up here. So let's see, can you see that? We're gonna focus in on that. So I've got my, um, my aperture is at f20 my shutter speed is at 125 iso is at 100 and um, what we want to do now to prevent the camera from from uh, flickering is you'll see on the front of the camera here you've got the little aperture lock button right there um, what i'm going to do is i'm going to press that hold it down to lock in the aperture and then I'm going to just slightly um, rotate my lens so it doesn't try and find the aperture every single time. Even though it's in manual everything, it's still going to try and do it if I don't do this. So I'm just going to rotate the lens. Let's see. Let's see if I can do this holding the camera. So lock that in. Press that and rotate. You just need to slightly rotate it. <clears throat> and then I'm going to go into my menu settings, press the trash can to access Magic Lantern. And I'm gonna go to intervalometer and I'm gonna press the question mark button here. And I'm gonna change that to every five seconds okay and I just hit set and now I hold the shutter button down for three seconds and then it's gonna start taking the images for me and it's going so now what I'm gonna do is let this go for a while I want to get at least about uh, 400 frames with it and then I'm gonna show you uh, post-production with Adobe After Effects CS6 all right, so I'm all done taking photos in the time-lapse sequence. I've got over 700 frames in the sequence, and I'm just opening it up in Adobe Bridge. I'm going to select all of the images that I've taken in this time-lapse sequence. So I'm just going to go down to um, the last photo here and select them all. And then I'm just going to right click it and open in Camera Raw. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up every single photo in the time lapse sequence. I, I think I just shot 730 images. So it's going to open up all of the images into Camera Raw. And I'm going to go ahead and select this um, Select All button here. And what that's going to do is any tweaks that I make to one of the photos, it's going to change uh, each and every photo in this sequence here. So um, what I usually like to do is kind of go to one of the middle images. And I'm just going to select, um, I'm just going to select this one right here. And then make sure you press select all again. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit of clarity to it. You can tell that that just kind of increases the image's um, detail a little bit. I'm just going to increase the clarity by 20. And just see how that looks real fast in here. And that's looking pretty good. And I'm just going to add a tiny bit more contrast. Let's do about 15. And then I'm just going to click done. And then you just need to wait for the 
thumbnails to be uh, extracted in Adobe Bridge. And then what I'm going to do is open up Adobe After Effects and import it as a, uh, a timeline in After Effects for a 24 frames per second timeline. Um, so I'm going to head over to Adobe After Effects and show you that. Okay, so now that we're over in Adobe After Effects CS6, I'm just going to open up a new composition. And I want it to be 1920 by 1080 for 1080 HD. Um, I'm going to make the frame rate 23.976, which is right around 24 frames a second. Um, the aspect ratio is going to be 16 by 9, so just regular HD aspect ratio. Uh, you want it to be full resolution, and I'm just going to make it like a 4 minute timeline right now. Background color can be set to black, and I'm just going to press OK. And then what we're going to do is we're going to import the um, the time lapse photos as uh, as footage, okay, as an image sequence. So we're going to go to File, go to Import Multiple Files, and then we're just going to select the photos. Um, I'm just going to click Files of Type and just make sure that's clicked on Camera Raw since I shot it in RAW as opposed to JPEG. And I'm just going to select the photos that I want and select the first photo, hit shift, and then select the last photo and click down on that one. And then just make sure you click this camera raw sequence again and then click open. And it's going to reopen the window again. Um, once it's done importing this sequence, um, it's going to open the camera, uh, the camera raw um, window, just making sure you've got all your settings in there that you want. Um, you can add any changes that you want right here if you need to. I'm going to click OK. And then just click Done on this window. And then what you're going to do is drag your image sequence into the composition and just put it right in the center you'll see it kind of clicks in like right there and then you're going to need to scale it down because it's going to be much larger than 1080 um, in size okay this is how you actually do 4k time lapses with uh, a DSLR camera is 4k is is actually smaller than the resolution that the still photos are on a DSLR camera. So um, you can make 4K time lapses with this method as well. You just change the composition settings when you first open it up. Um, so go to Layer, uh, Transform, Scale, and then just drag it down until you see the edges. And I just like to drag it back up right to there and then I'll just unlink this and I'll change the height a little bit just squash that down a tiny bit to right about there click OK I'm just gonna drag these corners in a little bit right there okay and we're good to go so you can make any changes that you want to right here as far as color correction um, you can add any type of effects that you want to. Uh, just make sure what I'm going to do right now is, as you can see, I've got a four minute timeline uh, right here. So I'm just going to drag the work area uh, all the way down to what is on the timeline. So I'm just going to zoom this in a little bit using the zoom button at the bottom here. And then I'm just going to drag it into whatever my timeline is, just over 15 seconds. And then you're going to go to Composition, Add to Render Queue, and it's going to pop it up in the bottom here. And you just want to click on Lossless, and you want to format it as a H.264. This is usually the best settings for Vimeo and YouTube. Um, you can go to Format Options if you want. Make sure it's high, level 5.1. Um, that bitrate looks good right in between 20 and around 40. Click OK on that. 
you don't need to resize or crop or anything like that. If you wanted to put the crop marks to make it look cinematic, um, you could do crop and then add like 10 on the top and 10 on the bottom. Uh, just click OK on that, you're all good to go. And then just make sure you save it in the area you want to save it. I'm going to save this one as clouds time lapse video. And then you're going to click save. And I usually hold, I, I click the caps lock on my computer. That way um, it freezes the frame in this, in this same frame here so it doesn't have to keep rendering it out uh, to show you a picture. And so that way it'll render out faster. So just hit caps lock and then click render. And it's going to save and render into that folder that you saved it in. So that's basically how you do a, a full-on time-lapse from production to post-production with After Effects CS6. I hope you like this video. Um, please ask me any questions in the comments below. Uh, definitely subscribe to my channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more photography and uh, Photoshop, the Adobe Premiere, and Adobe After Effects tutorials for you guys. So let me know what kind of stuff you would like to learn. Uh, remember to subscribe, thumbs up if you like this video, and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.